So now we're going to start working on our hold. When we work on the hold, we're going to do this from a stationary behavior again. So we have our dog sitting to start. Um, I'm going to go back to opening her mouth with my hands to place the object in her mouth. And then what you're going to see me do is I'm going to cage her mouth like I have been, but I'm going to start relaxing my hand more and more just to see that she's going to hang on to it. Early on, if I have to re-grip her mouth because she starts fussing with the object or she looks like she's going to drop it, then I will do that to help her. Once I feel like she understands what she's supposed to do, then I'm going to start moving my hand away from her mouth and I'm going to be setting up my correction, which is going to be placing my hand under her chin where we're going to kind of gently pop her under the chin if she drops the object. So we'll talk about those pieces in detail now. So I'm going to pry her mouth open. She takes the object fetch. Now I'm going to say, slide it back in there, hold. Good girl. Again, I'm going to apply pressure to the muzzle if she chews it. She's not chewing it, so I'm going to move my hand away. And I want to take it before she messes up, if I can, give. Good girl. Okay, so I just made a mistake there where I praised her afterwards. That was incorrect. Don't do that. Okay, we're going to pry the mouth open, fetch, hold. Good girl. Give. This is not going to go this smoothly for you. Okay, your dog is going to want to spit this out. They're going to chew on stuff, and you're just using pressure against the muzzle to correct for all those things. And again, when you have the exact behavior you want, a nice, calm, steady hold, you can optionally mark and reward for that if you would like. Fetch. Hold. Good girl. Give. It's at this point, too, that I'm trying to clarify the, the letting go as well. So early on, dogs may get sticky. They may not want to let go of the, of the object. When that happens, hold. I may twist it, give. I may twist it as I pull it out of their mouth. That seems to help some dogs release it. The other thing you can do, sit. So that is disobedience. She's breaking her sit, so I correct her for that. What dogs will often do, uh, or what, what can also help for the, uh, the not wanting to let it go, is I can push it back into their mouth, right? So I might go fetch, hold, and then if she doesn't want to let it go, I may push it towards the back of her mouth when I tell her give, give. And then sometimes that'll help them release. So we either roll it out or we'll push it to the back of their head. Okay? Fetch. Hold. Good girl. When I feel like this is going reasonably well, then I'm going to move my hand under her chin and I'm going to kind of point my thumb up like this. What I'm doing now is I'm going to wait until she drops this. And if she drops it, I wait until it hits the floor. That's going to be kind of like its own marker to tell her she messed up. And then I'm just going to bop her under the chin with my thumb. Okay, I'm not trying to like take her head off her shoulders or anything crazy like that. I just want to give her a correction under her chin to let her know. Right now she's holding, so I'm praising her. She's doing a good job. Very nice. And again, we want to build this duration very slowly. So this is already way too long. Give. See, we want to build this just a couple seconds at a time. One second, two seconds, three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, 15, 30, 45, a minute. If your dog can hold it for a minute, you're, you're good to go. Okay, if they drop it, when the object hits the ground, you should hear it audibly hit the ground. Then you would pop the dog under the chin and then you can take your time placing it back in there. We're not, we're not, applying compulsion like negative reinforcement here. Negative reinforcement meaning forcing the dog to do the right thing. When the dog drops the object, the only thing we can do is punish them for failure. So this punishment that happens, right, the, the cuffing them under the chin, it's applied punishment for dropping the object and then we're just resetting, we're doing a new rep of the behavior. We're giving them another try. 
basically. So this is a really important distinction, right, between ear pinch where we are forcing you to do the right thing, which is grab a hold of it, versus this where we are punishing you for dropping it, okay? Really important technical difference from a training perspective what we're doing, okay? When this is going well, I'm going to start tapping on the object, right? So what, if I can get up to a minute, then I'm going to start tapping on the object. I'm going to start spinning, spinning it in the dog's mouth and doing a whole bunch of other stuff that's going to make them want to drop it. Sit. Every time she wants to lay down and do other stuff, right, she knows what sit, stay means, so I'm going to correct her for her failure. Okay, I'm going to make her do the right thing. Now we're going to do another rep. Pinch behind the teeth. Hold. Good girl. Now I'm going to place my hand under here and I'm going to tap on this. I will turn it. I'm not trying to swat it out of her mouth, but I want to see enough that she doesn't think that me just putting my hand on it means she gets to let it go. If she did, I would punish for that, right, as we already talked about, right? Give. That's what I want to see. Now we're ready to move on to having her walk with the object. And you're going to see when we do that, well, you, you might not see it with her, but you, what you'll see with your own dog is that this jawbone is connected directly to these feet bones. And what's going to happen is when we start asking her to move, when we start asking her to move, while holding, that's going to increase the frequency that she drops the object very significant. Okay, this is a very common problem that dogs have. It's normal. Don't think that there's something wrong. Don't think your dog is stubborn or disobedient. They're just confused. They just need some help. So we're going to talk about that in the next exercise.